I am currently sitting inside of the closet where a woman was beheaded. Joey, there's the shower, the shower. There's nothing there. Who's coming? Someone tried to break into our room. I feel a weird presence in this closet right now, Joey. We heard a female screaming and saying help. Welcome back to another paranormal investigation. My name is Mo Sarji. Today I'm in this place called Santa Paula, California. I'm here with my buddy Joey. How are you guys doing fam? And today we are gonna be investigating the Haunted Glen Tavern Inn. Now you guys have probably seen this place on Ghost Adventures. They've done videos here before. This place is confirmed haunted. A lot of people have claimed to have so many sightings in this place. We're gonna be spending 24 hours in this place investigating it, trying to see if we can conjure up some paranormal and we're gonna be staying in none other than room 307. Room 307 is the most haunted room inside of this hotel here. The closet is supposed to be really haunted because of a prostitute that was beheaded and stored in that closet for a long period of time before she was discovered. Today's video is no joke. Smash the like button. All these likes on the screen. Make sure y'all smash it. So this is my first time here in Santa Paula, California, and I've never been to this tavern before. Um, if you don't know what this place is, a long time ago, they used to host poker, and basically during the prohibition, um, people would come here, play poker, drink. There was a lot of prostitution, a lot of negative energy happening in this place. There were some murders that took place inside of this haunted hotel. A cowboy was shot in the room that we are gonna be sleeping in tonight. Also, a prostitute was decapitated. She had her head ripped off. I actually seen photos of it. I can't put the photos in my video. You guys can look it up online. The prostitute was decapitated. Her body was stored in the closet and her head separately in the closet of the bedroom that we've rented tonight that we are going to be filming in tonight and that we are going to be sleeping in tonight. I will have the cameras rolling throughout the night to document everything. One thing that terrifies me is a lot of the employees that work inside of this hotel. They claim that they see a one-eyed woman wearing a black dress. She appears out of nowhere. She looks like a full body apparition. She's completely solid and then she just disappears into the walls. Now you guys know I've got history with full body apparitions. I've captured quite a few of them in the past. I'm hoping we can capture her on camera. I'm hoping she's not gonna be some type of demon that's gonna hurt us in any way. And if you're new to my channel, make sure to check out my merch. Link is down below, be you, do you, and just live a little. I'm also rocking the new live a little hats, guys. You can't go on a paranormal adventure without wearing the live a little gear because you need to live a little to enjoy these videos and to enjoy the adventures and to investigate the paranormal. As we are approaching the haunted hotel, these lights just immediately begun to flicker for no reason whatsoever. I can't explain it. Look at it. That one, that one, and that one there. All together simultaneously, the second we started approaching the hotel, they started going off and going crazy. Now, I don't know if that's some sort of a timer thing that they got going on here, but I doubt that. It's nighttime. Lights need to be on at nighttime. If it was a daytime, it would make a bit more sense. But then again, this is the property of the haunted Glen Tavern Inn. All right, you guys, right behind me is room 307, the most haunted room in this hotel. And we're about to take you guys inside and show you guys what's in there. Oh boy, this gives me the heebie-jeebies just because I've seen this exact same room on Ghost Adventures. Yeah. This is the haunted room. This right here is where two people were murdered in the past. A really long time ago, a cowboy was shot in the head here and a prostitute was murdered and her body was placed in the closet whoa what the hell what was that i just got the weirdest shock touching that doorknob how creepy can you imagine like someone being beheaded and thrown inside that closet so somebody was actually beheaded inside of this closet here at one point in time a female she was a prostitute 
doesn't mean you're supposed to be head prostitutes. You know, they're humans, just like anybody else. I feel a weird presence in this closet right now, Joey. Quick question. Did huh? we close the door? Did we close the door? I don't remember. You were in last. Hmm. So when they found the female's body in here, I've seen pictures of it. I don't want to show it in my video. I don't want the video to get demonetized. Um, when they found the female's body in here, it was missing its head. There was blood everywhere. I don't know if this is the original carpet or not. This carpet does look very old. Joey. Joey. Do you have a DNA flashlight? I should have one. Let's take a look in the closet and see what we can find. This carpet looks very old to me. And look over here, if you look over here on the walls, there's some red stains over here. I don't know what that red stain could be, but maybe a DNA flashlight would show us. Thank you, right? we gotta turn off all the lights. All right, let's do Here's it. Here's a DNA flashlight. Oh, look at that, I was right. Yeah, there's so Whoa. many splatters on the door. Yeah, oh shit, what happened? I didn't even turn off the light. What the hell was that? <gasps> The light won't turn on. It, oh, there we go. It turned off by itself, Joey. That's crazy. There's some that? weird splatter on the door over here. Let's follow the trail. As you guys can see, this flashlight will show human DNA. Bro, this flashlight just shut off by itself. Get out of here, bro. Are you messing with me? No, no, bro. It shut off. Is the battery charged? Yeah, it's, it's brand new. I just been... Yo, point it to the ground. I think there's splatters on the ground. <gasps> oh, oh my God. Yo, you guys, look. I don't know if that's a handprint, but there are a lot of DNA stains in the closet. If I turn on my flashlight here, would that yeah. show? No. I don't see nothing. Yeah, it's nothing. Hmm. So what? Did wait, you just hear that? That sounded like a laugh, bro. Yeah, I heard that. Hey, Joey, look what I spotted here on the carpet. What? There's a red stain here. Oh, man. There's a couple. Look. There's a couple red stains. Red stain here and a red stain here. There is no way this is still the original carpet. And there's like red spots here. There's no way you didn't clean this up, dude. This hotel looks very, very clean. I'm almost worried to check the bed. We should check the bed because we are going to be sleeping in it. And if there is blood residue on the bed, that is traumatizing. Wait, what is that? What is that, bro? I have no idea what that is. Stay very quiet. Yeah. What was that? Oh, something was hissing. Okay, hissing aside, this isn't blood over here. This is candle wax. Look, there's red candle wax over here. So we kind of just debunked this whole thing over here. That's not blood. At least I don't think that's blood. That's red candle wax. And this on the ground here, I'm willing to bet you it's candle wax as well. Actually, there's no wax there. No, but that this one. over here that looks like a burn. What is going on in this place? Yeah, but look over here, dude. You can see that splatter that we seen with the night light. Here, turn on your light again. See that splatter? That's not wax, and we can't see that when we turn on the light. But it's here. So this is room 307, and we are going to be spending the night here today. I'm getting some very, very, very strong, strong vibes in this room. I don't know what it is. It could be spiritual. It could be... I don't know what to say because I was feeling top-notch when we got here, but the second we got into the room, I'm beginning to feel some type of entity. All right, you guys, I am leaving the laser grid on and aimed at the closet in case while we're out of here, we can record any paranormal activity that happens from that haunted closet. We're going to be investigating throughout this hotel all night long tonight. We have permission to basically investigate the entire hotel throughout the night. I want to show you guys some really creepy areas of this place where the most sightings happen. All right guys, making our way throughout this haunted hotel. I wanna show you guys how creepy this place is. Maybe we can even capture the lady that roams the hallways or the little girl that apparently can be heard roaming the hallways at nighttime. Look at this little creepy area over here. Yeah, I guess back down like people would sit here. That's an old chair. Yeah. They would sit here and they would stare out the window into nothing. I don't know about you guys, but that's kind of creepy. That's terrifying. Imagine like you're at a hotel and then just somebody just sitting here. Things we need to be on the lookout for today 
and listening to is little girls roaming the hallway, a gust of random winds throughout the hallway, and a one-eyed lady in a black dress that apparently roams the hallways of this hotel. Our main focus today is our room, room 307, the most haunted room, but it's still kind of nice to show you guys what there is inside of this hotel. All right, so we are currently in the lobby area. Right down this hallway is where supposedly a one-eyed lady wearing a black dress can be seen. This right here apparently is where the woman can be seen. I almost want to see if we get any energy readings on the K2 meter in here. Nothing at all. Currently 12 o'clock man. Joey. Yeah. The shower, the shower. There's nothing there. The shower just made a noise like someone was taking a shower. And it's 12 o'clock midnight. I was just saying, it's currently 12 o'clock midnight. We just got back to our room and we made a discovery. Look at this. It's almost as if something or someone tried to break into our room. And that's a very recent look. Yeah. That wasn't like that earlier, dude. I pay attention to details. I would have noticed that. Well, I have it on camera. It's the first thing I did when I walked into the door is record the door. Yeah. And it wasn't broken before. What the heck could have done that? And I'm trying to film, and then all of a sudden the shower started making noises like someone's taking a shower, but there's no one taking a shower. I'm not staying here. You're not staying in here? No. We have to stay in here. I kind of want to sleep in the closet, to be honest. You're crazy. Dude, it's the most haunted part of this place. A female was beheaded here, bro. It's insanity. A female was beheaded in here, but most Sergeant wants to spend some time in here. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to lock myself in the closet, and I'm just going to sit here for a good 10, 20 minutes, see what happens. So you're going to leave me all alone here? Yeah, exactly. Oh, hell no. I'll see you later. All right, you guys, I am currently sitting inside of the closet where a woman was beheaded and decapitated years and years ago. I also was just given some information that a man hung himself here a few months back in this hotel, not in this closet and not in this room, but in the hotel. Okay, you guys, as you can see, I am in the complete darkness in the closet where the woman was decapitated. Um, I've been sitting here for a good five minutes I'm gonna be sitting in here for a good 20 minutes to half an hour to see what happens. Um, maybe we capture something in here, I don't know. I'm starting to feel a very weird presence though. You guys can only see me because I am using night vision. I'm gonna bring out the spirit box and let's see if we can communicate with anything. That was really scary. I don't know what all these voices are, you guys. I can't explain it. What the hell? Whoa. I've been getting a whole bunch of gibberish. Nothing firm. I'm gonna bust out my actual spirit box. I'm looking to talk to any entity that's living in this closet. What is that smell? There's a very, very terrible odor all of a sudden in here. I'm trying to communicate with someone from the other side. Are you okay with me sleeping in your closet today? <sighs> I just got a very, very strange feeling in my chest. My heart is throbbing like, like pounding really, really fast. And I just got this weird heart pain all of a sudden. Just, just from asking questions, I began to feel these weird chest pains. I'm gonna conclude this spirit box investigation from inside the closet. I'm gonna go outside and see what Joey is up to. So what felt like half an hour in that closet, I was in there for exactly 17 minutes. I, it's weird because I was speaking to the necrophonic spirit box and I was getting a whole bunch of gibberish, a whole bunch of voices, a couple of female voices, but then when I turned on the spirit box itself, I got nothing from that one. 
But then I started to feel these weird chest pains. Where you're standing, I saw a shadow. And you can see on camera, I get up and go try to investigate that shadow. Because I know you're inside the closet. Yeah. There's nobody else in here. That's what I did. And then I came back and laid down because I wasn't feeling good. My head hurts. Holy shit, dude. Speaking of head hurting, my head is throbbing right now. Yeah, it's like there's a pulse. Yeah, yeah. That's exactly what... Oh, that's exactly it, dude. There's a weird pulse. I don't know what to think of this. Everyone that does come through here and people that do go to different abandoned and haunted locations have different experiences. There could be people that sense, there could be people that see things, there could be people that feel things. I feel and I see things sometimes. Today I haven't seen anything yet though, but we have heard and we have felt. So the night is still young, it's only 12, 7, 12 18. We are gonna be here all night long. So I wanna show you guys something really, really cool over here. There is this very creepy haunted doll, apparently. The story behind this haunted doll is nobody knows where it came from. Nobody knows who brought it. One day, there was an entire event happening here in the hotel, and apparently, it just showed up. Somebody left it here, and nobody knows where it came from. I almost want to put this right beside it. No readings at all. Whoa, what the hell? Yeah. Whoa. That was a loud, yeah. Is there anything stuck to this doll? Do you have a name? Haley. Haley. So like I said, nobody knows where this doll came from. I'm wondering if there's even a name under there. Wooden doll. Usually these dolls, they have names. I think it looks like a, a little girl. What do you think we should ask it? <gasps> it's said mom. No, it's said mom. It's said mom. Do you want your mom? Sit. Sit? No. I can't sit. No. Oh, let's sit. sit. Let's sit. Dude, something just told us to sit. We're sitting by the toys, by the kids' toys. Yeah. That's very interesting, actually. So something on the spirit box just told me to sit. Whoever it was that told me to sit, I'm sitting. What now? Do you plan to hurt us? Girl. Girl. Girl, we keep hearing girls. Did a girl die in the closet upstairs in room 307? Did you hear what the spirit box said? What? 3 a.m. The spirit box literally said 3 a.m. We all know 3 a.m. is the devil's hour. Why 3 a.m.? Well, because 3 p.m. is when Jesus Christ was crucified and the demons use 3 a.m. as an hour to mock Jesus Christ. I wanna go at this one more time and see if we can communicate with that kid. I need to know a name. We heard Haley. We heard Haley. The thing is, there's no stories of a little kid that died in here, but people that do stay here, they complain that they hear kids running around at nighttime. Yeah and they can hear kids laughing and giggling in the middle of the night, near three o'clock in the morning, which is crazy. And we did capture 3 a.m. on the spirit box. Bye. Hello? Is it bye? I thought I heard hi. Hey. What's your name? How old are you? Should we go back up to our room? Demon. Demon, yeah, what the hell? I really want to know what this demon's name is. If it is really a demon, I'm still not sold on the idea that there's a demon here. <gasps> Shit, dude. Bro. Did you hear that? That was a laugh. It was a little kid either crying or laughing. I don't know if that was a little kid laughing or crying. I want to know if I knocked my own camera down or it fell on film. Your camera fell? Yeah. What do you want us to do? You told us to sit, what do you want us to do? I heard a voice that said I'm coming. Exorcist. Exorcist. It said some exorcist. Who's coming? Help. Oh my god, dude. Bro, I'm we heard a girl I'm crying. Chills, bro. We heard a female screaming and saying help. I'm almost wondering 
If that is the girl that was killed up in the closet. I don't want to go back up to her. No, room. let's go I'm back not. up to the room and see if that was the girl. Making our way back upstairs to room 307. I'm really hoping nothing has happened in that room because the last time we left the room and then we made it back upstairs, the room had a the room door had some type of crack in it. Whoa, that's so weird. Whoa. Did you get lightheaded? Yeah. I swear to God, you I felt, felt lightheaded too. You, you felt that too? Instantly. How, how, did I, how would I know you got lightheaded? I had to hold on to the wall. Holy like shit. Pressure it's in like, my head. Yeah, man. I got really dizzy and it felt like lightheaded and it was some weird pressure. I'm gonna keep the camera rolling from here. I don't know what that was, but it did not feel right at all. It's definitely not fatigue, because I'm really not tired. Bro, I kid you not. Look at this. That got bigger. The crack definitely got bigger. I wasn't like that before. Yo, huh? who closed this door? I didn't close this it. This door was open, because I remember using the bathroom last. Really? I swear to God. I swear to God. Oh shit, dude. Oh no. Yo, it just flushed itself. No, I just saw that. Oh my God, that's gross. The water's moving. That just flushed itself, dude. That just flushed. Holy shit, we actually just got that on camera. Oh my God. Oh my God. Yo, come over here. You're messing with me, bro. What? You did not put that plunger back in there. <gasps> Look, the water's dripping. Here's what my concern is, dude. What? Look at this. First of all, that door, I don't believe it was open like that when we left. Okay. I've got the night vision rolling over here the entire time, so I want to review that footage. Yo. And that's kind of concerning me. Yo. Who closed this door? This door was open, because I remember using the bathroom last. Really? Here's what my concern is, dude. What? Look at this. First of all, that door, I don't believe it was open like that when we left. Okay. I've got the night vision rolling over here the entire time, so I want to review that footage. All right, you guys, jumping into the night. We heard leave four times in a row. Back to back. Hello, are there any spirits in this room with us? What is your name? Ethan? Ethan, I heard Ethan. I heard an Ethan. I definitely heard Ethan. Was there ever a cowboy in this room that got shot? Was that a woman's voice? That was a woman's voice. A woman screaming? Did you die in the closet? Were you decapitated in this closet? Hello, we're trying to communicate with you. Now, I don't know how accurate this thing is. I, I'm told it's very accurate by a lot of reputable sources that use it in ghost hunting. That was the same woman's same voice. voice. Same woman's voice. Did you, did you make that noise? Help? Wait, that was a, wait, that was a little girl's voice? Yeah, that was a little girl's voice. If you guys read up the history about this place, they claim, people claim to see a little girl roaming the hallways. Is there a little girl roaming the hallways of this place? Yeah, that was a clear yes. That was a clear yes. That was a clear yes. What is your name? What is the little girl's name? What was the prostitute's name that died in the closet? Who summoned me? Whoa, whoa, that was weird. That was weird. Who summoned me? That was, bro, that was weird. Okay, that was weird. There was a voice that said, who summoned me? That's very interesting. What is that? Boss is dripping again. I don't hear anything. 
<clears throat> don't say that. It scares me even more. I actually don't hear anything. I don't want to be the only one hearing these type of things. So I've got a camera and a laser aimed at the closet. That's a closet where the decapitated body was found. Oh, oh, oh shit. I just, I just caught an orb, bro. It just came out this way. There's nothing flying around in here. There's no bugs. There's no creatures. Oh, let me turn off this light. You guys, we have the laser aimed right at the closet where the girl was decapitated. If there is any movement in that closet, the laser grid will catch it. Earlier when I had the laser grid aimed at the closet over there, or that way, I seen something crossing the grid. We don't know what it was. We couldn't see it, but you can see it manipulating the grid. If there is anything here with us, please make it known. Show yourself. Stand in front of the laser. Bailey, is that you walking in here? So that clock right there, that's not accurate. That's definitely not accurate because it's definitely not 12.55. It's almost 2 o'clock in the morning right now. What's going on in here right now, dude? I'm feeling weird. Bro, not only am I feeling weird, I feel like we're being watched. Right? It does feel like there is some type of presence in here with us right now. I'm kind of wanting to turn on that spirit box once more. Hello, Haley, are you here? Haley, are you here? Oh my god, what the f was that? I see you! <laughs> no, 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 oh behind, my you. God. behind you, behind you, behind you. That was behind you. Oh my god. I, I freaked out because I just seen a vision of something standing behind me. Let's go in the closet, bro. Bro. Let's go in the closet together. Let's go in the closet together right now. Who's here with us right now, Haley or some type of demon? Haley! What the fuck? We just got Haley on the spirit box, you guys. You guys just heard that loud and clear. We're not fooling around here. There's nothing. We're not messing around, guys. We just got Haley. Again. Twice. Haley, if you are here, please give us a sign. I feel lightheaded in here, bro. Haley, did you die in this room? Is that your real name? We're still currently inside of the closet. We haven't come out of the closet just yet. We've got these dowsing rods here. I've never used these before. Joey's used these many times. Haley, or any demon or spirit that's in here right now, if you're here with us, please make the rods turn to the right. Nothing's happening. Are you afraid to communicate with us? If you are, turn to the left. Oh shit, dude. That just went to the left. Look at that, it's still going to... Now it's going to the right. Oh no, oh no, that's going to the right. Maybe you can do it. Oh weird, I can't see anything. Well, that's good, you can't see anything. Yo, the door, just, door, door behind you just opened up. Oh, what the f***? I just closed it. Who's in here right now? Haley, cross the dowsing rods if you're here right now. Wait, why are they moving like that? Are you doing that? No. Your hands aren't even moving. My hands are still. Oh, what the f***? Okay, so we got an answer. We got an answer, dude. You just realized something just gave you that answer? I see it's not even moving right now. Ask it another question. Ask it to uncross or something. Haley, if you're a demon, uncross. Nah, f*** that, bro. What the hell? Oh, shit, dude. Oh. That's no joke. What is that? Bro, something just... Like There's a lot of variables going on in this place tonight. You know what we need to be doing? We need to record and sleep. Yeah, right in my ass is gonna sleep in here. I'm gonna sleep in here. 
We're just gonna record ourselves sleeping. So here's what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna each take one side of the bed. I know it's gonna be weird, but I'm gonna sleep on the left side near the closet. He's gonna sleep on the right side away from the closet. And I'm gonna be recording the entire night. I have plenty of cameras and plenty of memory to do this. Hopefully we capture something throughout the night. So the next scene you guys see will probably be us sleeping. Thank <laughs> you. 